Tonight we have Christian Barsh and Amy Marcia. Marcia. And um, so they're tandem surfers, and they've been, um, Christian's been tandem surfing for three years and Amy for two. And um, this year they uh, opened up their, uh, the tandem surf contest season in California and they placed second. And last year they finished overall in their year in fourth. Next oh, first. I'm sorry, first. first. My bad, they placed first. <laughs> and um, so this year they're looking towards May and they're going to go to France and they're going to compete in the world tandem surfing contest. So, I'm open up um, the floor to you guys, and thank you for being here tonight. Just playing a little bit of video so that you can see what tandem surfing is, and then we're going to talk about the history, what's going on now, the future, um, just give you a lot of background about tandem, then we're going to do a demonstration. the history of tandem surfing. Um, it started in Waikiki and it was pretty much female tourists who wanted surfing escorts while their boyfriends and husbands sat lonely on the beach or <laughs> attempted to surf on their own. Um, in, it pretty much started in 1914. Um, Duke Hanamoku, George Freeth were kind of people who were around at the time. Um, in 1914 was when Duke surfed with um, Isabel Latham and Head High Waves in Sydney, Australia. So it was like the first time it was brought to Australia. Um, and in the 1930s was when it started getting a little bit bigger. It was when the first tandem surfing photo was taken that started to get people a little more excited. In 1954 was the first big tandem surfing contest, which was at Makaha. It was the Makaha International. In the 1960s, it expand a little bit. There was Ironman contest which consisted of surfing, paddling, and tandem surfing so people got a little bit more into it. Um, it went from six basic lifts in the 1960s to 25 lifts by the 1970s and now as you can see on our lift sheet there's quite a few more. In the 1970s that was kind of the era of Steve and Barry Bainey. Barry had already had experience with Pete Peterson um, they were kind of the first team who combined lifts to do a sequence rather than doing a lift and coming back to the board. Um, they were also the first team to win the Makaha International more than one year in a row. They, in fact, won six years in a row. Along so, with one of his cohorts back here in the back. That was bare, my next slide. <laughs> that was my next Really one. helped create, in the last three years, an actual, you know, sanctioned tandem surfing events. And, you know, it, I would. If, if somebody kept track, I would say that me and Amy tandem surf more than any other team that we know of by far. Because <laughs> I would say we average tandem at least three times a week since we've started in three years, so, or in two years, so. I was born in New Jersey, moved to Florida when I was nine. I always lived really close to the ocean. And I thought, all right, I'm going to learn how to surf because there's actually waves. And um, I'd say <laughs> About a month after I moved here, I was volunteering at Access Surf, which is a really cool organization that gets, um, say, mentally and physically um, disabled people into the water, either swimming, surfing, whatever they can do. And he was there doing lifts. Um, my background is like a dancer, and I've done a lot of different things, but dance was probably my main background that made me interested in that. I kind of picked him out. I saw him on the beach doing lifts. And I was like, I want to do that. So <laughs> he looked at me. He kind of interrogated me a little bit. Wanted to know my height, my weight, my previous experience. <laughs> Try to find me a different tandem partner. <laughs> Until you actually tried tandeming on a real tandem board, which is twice as thick as your average longboard, 
and twice as long as your average shortboard, you know, with about four times as much foam. Uh, it makes a huge difference on being able to actually do it with proficiency and, and, and having the stability, you know, to be able to, to do the lifts. And um, the community of people that are doing it right now are some of the nicest, best friends that we have now. You know, we go to California and the people that, you know, we beat will be welcome us, you know, to stay, you know, in their spare room when we come there and loan us a board. And, you know, it, it's it's an amazing group of people. And um, it's, a, it's unlike, you know, the, the solo sports and just the, the dynamics of tandem and the trust you have to be in with your partner. It's, it's really a, a similar thing with the other teams in that we all help each other work out and do the list because we all know how dangerous it is. The, the Tandem World Tour, you know, which is events around the world, and um, a lot of in France, a lot in California, some here, some in Australia. And then one event a year called the World Championships, just because not every team can go to every contest and do the tour. So, I mean, I think it's a came up with the idea of having one event. If you want to say, you know, you're the best, but you can't do the tour, come to this one event a year. As far as we know, none of the other teams from Hawaii are planning to go because of the same reasons, either money or time off of work. So we're really hoping to represent Hawaii there. And I mean, we feel like we can do a good job and we're really optimistic. I mean, at some point or another, all the teams that we've competed against, we've, we've scored higher than I mean, at least one heat at one time or another in our, in our short lived career. You know, I mean, it started here and to have a world championship without any Hawaiian team. Oh, do you want to do me stand and pop? Now she's oh. supposed to smile the whole time. <laughs> oh, wow. yeah. This one is really fun when you get on a wave because once you lock it in, the board just takes off. I don't know why, but it's really cool. Okay, and then a pop. Can do a pyramid. Okay, and Falcon or no? Let's go cradle. Okay.